Listen, brother, have you had enough of playing nice while others climb the ladder of success? Sick of seeing your words fall on deaf ears while guys who know how to take charge get all the attention? Let's cut the crap and get down to business. This isn't about acting dominant, it's about being dominant. In a world full of followers, it's time to learn the brutal truth about showing dominance as a high-value man. Today, I'm tearing apart the BS and diving headfirst into the raw truth of becoming a high-value man. No tricks, no sugarcoating, just the unapologetic reality you need to hear. Brace yourself because we're about to bulldoze through the excuses and dive into the harsh truth that separates the men from the boys. Number 1. Walk it like you talk it. Picture the untamed wilderness where a lone wolf prowls with an air of unyielding dominance. His every step sends a clear message. He is the master of his territory, unbeaten and unwavering. This aura of dominance isn't a mere facade. He has been tested by everything around because he's always prepared. He's always come out victorious. He embraced his true nature, radiating an energy that beckons other creatures to recognize his authority. Similarly, as a man, brother, embodying your own inner alpha isn't about putting on a show. It's about embracing your authentic self, using every bad thing that has ever happened to you as fuel, every challenge and setback as a lesson, and exuding the kind of dominance that draws women like a moth to a flame. Just as the wolf's dominance is a force of nature, your alpha presence becomes a magnetic pull that ignites attraction. This isn't something you can fake or pretend to be without doing the work, because people can smell it all over you. The journey of dominance begins with integrity, the foundation upon which your power rests. It's not about making empty boasts or indulging in grandiosity. Instead, it's about embodying the man you present yourself to be. When you promise something, you back it up with unshakable action. This consistency is what sets you apart in a world full of pretense. Your words hold weight, not because you demand it, but because your character demands it. And guess what? This authenticity becomes a magnet for both respect and admiration, drawing people towards your unwavering presence. Number 2. Never tolerate disrespect from anyone around you. Let me tell you about my friend John. We've all got that one friend, right? The guy who's been chasing after the same girl since high school. Well, John's that guy. He's been head over heels for this girl. Let's call her Emily, since the 10th grade. But here's the kicker. She's always gone for some so-called douchebag on her arm who treats her like an afterthought. And guess who she turns to whenever her heart gets trampled? You guessed it. John, the perpetual shoulder to cry on. Now, after years of silently pinning away, John finally gets the nerve to ask Emily out. But let me paint you a picture of how that played out. Months of what he thought were wooing. I'm talking gifts, compliments, and basically bending over backwards. Finally, led to her agreeing to give him a shot. And right from the get-go, Emily made it crystal clear that she was doing John a favor by even considering him as a dating option. And brother, she did make sure he never forgot it. Picture this. 
Every time she's not happy, she's there, giving him an earful, and sometimes worse. Now, John is obviously in for a rude awakening. If you know anything about women, you'd know that respect and love are linked. They go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. If a woman doesn't respect you, you can bet your bottom dollar she won't ever truly love you. And that idea of being the dominant force in her life? Forget about it. Listen, brother. To make a woman understand that you're the kind of man she should respect and submit to, you've got to lay down the law from day one. Look her dead in the eyes and make it known that disrespect is not something you'll tolerate, not even once. Don't get caught up in some kind of negotiation about who wears the pants and who is calling the shots. You're the leader, brother, and that means the decisions start and stop with you. You do not seek her permission or approval. Do you want respect? You demand it. Do you want her admiration? You show her what kind of man you are, right from the get-go. It's not about being harsh. It's about setting your standards high and making sure she knows you won't settle for anything less. Remember this important rule, brother. How you start a relationship sets the tone for how it's going to end. So, step up, be the man you're meant to be, and start leading with the unwavering respect you deserve. Number three, don't ask for or give your commitment too easy. Go back to the previous story I told you about John. Analyze it and realize what his first mistake was. He gave away his commitment too easy. He threw away his manhood along with his self-respect and lived to regret it. That's not a story with a happy ending, brother. It's the same story you hear every day about men who use their entire lives saving to buy a big engagement ring in order to beg a woman, kneeling down on one knee to do him the honor of being his wife, only to end up in a sexless marriage with a woman who can't stand the sight of you, much less respect you. The fastest way to get a woman to not only respect but eventually lose their attraction to you is to give out your commitment too easily. As a man, you should know by now that nothing of value has ever been achieved easily. So, if your commitment is worth something, then why give it away so easily? Value and hardship are linked. The reason why having six-pack abs is universally respected is because they are very hard to get. If everyone you meet has one, then it will no longer be respected. Apply that same principle when you're dealing with women and understand that the only thing women truly respect and treasure is what they work hard for. Want to make sure they respect, adore, and value your time and commitment, brother? Make them earn it. Number four, don't talk too much. Think about a gripping detective novel that keeps you on the edge of your seat, turning page after page to unravel the intricate plot. The author carefully reveals just enough to pique your curiosity while withholding key details to keep you guessing. Now, consider it the author simply spelled out the plot on the first page. The suspense would dissipate and the journey would lose its thrill. Similarly, in matters of mystery, a man's enigmatic nature is like that of a compelling novel. Sharing every detail of your life up front 
can eliminate the excitement of discovery and prevent genuine connections from forming. Embracing a certain level of mystery allows her to invest time and effort in unraveling the layers, creating a deeper and more meaningful bond. Don't be the guy who sits down with a girl on the first date and tells her everything about his life, and you wonder why you're having problems not only attracting but retaining women. It's because there's no air of mystery about you anymore. Everything about you, she knows already. There's no excitement and no more treasure to be dug. Here's a truth, brother. Actions speak louder than words. The power of silence and mystery is one of the strongest weapons in a high-value man's arsenal. Think about it like this. The less you reveal, the more there is for others to discover. Dominate the room, not through verbosity, but through the art of being intriguing. Maintain an air of mystery and watch as people lean in to listen when you finally choose to speak. Number 5. Become Unreasonable Nelson Mandela the anti-apartheid revolutionary and former president of South Africa demonstrated remarkable unreasonableness in his pursuit of justice and equality. Despite being in prison for 27 years for his activism, Mandela refused to compromise his principles and continued to fight against apartheid. His unwavering commitment to his cause even in the face of extreme adversity, ultimately led to the end of apartheid and the establishment of a democratic South Africa. Mandela's resilience and refusal to be swayed by external pressures serve as a powerful example of how being unreasonable can lead to significant societal change. Unreasonable actions often yield exceptional results. Dominance doesn't stem from conformity, brother. It's about refusing to be swayed by external forces and societal norms. When you become the driving force behind your decisions, you demonstrate that you're a man of conviction, unafraid to defy expectations. In this unreasonableness, you find the untapped wellspring of your power. And as you forge your own path, you find that the world around you rearranges itself to align with your vision. Not because you're a crook, but because you're a leader. To see the next best way to level up as a man, check this video here.